The world's most expensive. What is up, my beautiful marmars, and welcome back to my beautiful kitchen. Today, we're making the yummy nami s'mores maker. Look at it. I guess it's like a giant fire, and you put your graham crackers in there, and then you got s'mores. So let's do this. Let's just see what's in the box. Okay. So there's a, oh, nice. A little palette thing. We're going to need that. Oh, some packets. And this fire is so much smaller in real life. <laughs> what the heck? I thought this fire was gonna be like the, the size of the box, but it's the size of like a fourth of the box. What the heck? What? I feel ripped off, yummy nummies. I feel really ripped off right now, but it's fine. Let's just get to the video, I guess. Okay. All right, so we have all these packets right here. You just want to cut them up open with your scissors like this. Just get it really nice. And we have all these packets. All these different packets are what is going to help us make the s'mores today. So just look at these. Yes. Oh, we also have this container that's going to help us mix all the s'mores, just like popping cooking. You know the Japanese DIYs I do all the time? Well, it's finally, all that training's finally come in handy with this really, really sad, disappointing s'mores maker that I thought was gonna be a lot bigger, but it's actually just really tiny and sad. But we have all these things right here. We're gonna fill with water eventually and powder and stuff, just like popping cooking. So we're gonna, let's make this happen right now. Let's, let's do this. Start by cutting up this thing like that. And you just want to separate this. This is going to make it a little bit easier to work with now. So we're just going to cut around just like popping cooking, but American version. So we're going to cut up in our first packet. We're going to just take a few scoops of this as told by the directions. One scoop, two scoop, and then grab some squares of water. I know this is so weird. The American version, they use like circles and squares. And then we're just going to put this together and we get the mixer spoon and mix it all together. We're going to be making our graham crackers first right now. Wow, this is, I've never made graham crackers before, but this is an interesting technique. We just take the graham crackers, just put it into this little square container like so, push it all around, grab some more graham cracker, put it in there, grab some more graham cracker, put it in there, squeeze that all down, and then we're going to take our graham cracker and mush it down even more and take this to the microwave and microwave it for about 10 seconds to just check this out. Oh yeah, let's microwave this. Okay, and our microwave is done right now. Let's check it out. Let's see it. Let's look at it right now. Okay. Whoa, graham crackers. Instant graham. They actually kind of look like those mini granola bars that you get at Costco. I don't know if you guys have Costco where you guys are from, but <laughs> look at this. This is the next pack we're making, the fudge or the chocolate. I thought we were going to be making real chocolate, but we're making more of like a chocolate syrup. So we're going to take a few scoops or squares of water here, pour the water in, and then mix it all around. It kind of looks like we're making brownies, but we're not because this is just fudge. Let's take this fudge now and let's just keep mixing and mixing and mixing and mixing and mixing. Cut open your marshmallow. Now I'm guessing this is, yep, that is the marshmallow. Go ahead and grab that, a few scoops of this. Go ahead and put that into there. Put it into there like so. And now we're gonna go ahead and add some water to this. We're gonna need a lot of scoops of water to make marshmallows. One, three, four i can't count just go ahead and mix everything together now and we're gonna make our marshmallow paste this is not like the marshmallows i usually make but it's whatever we're just gonna you know this is the american pop and cooking all right guys now that we've made the marshmallow the chocolate the graham crackers this thing i thought i thought it was gonna make like real marshmallows and you put it in here and it like heats it up or something but no see there's a secret compartment here you just push open open and you just rip this part off once you finally rip that part off, you can put the marshmallows into this janky thing now. Look at this squared thing. You just stick it in here. I mean, it's kind of cool. I like secret hiding spots. This reminds me of a secret hiding spot. So we'll just pretend what that's what it is. I'm going to put some fudge in the other hole like so. This is, it's getting a little cooler now. Okay, okay, America. I see you stepping up your game. This looks really cool. Okay, okay. We're going to go ahead and put the, the rest of that in. All right, guys. Now it's uh, time for the marshmallow tapping. So basically you want to grab your piece of graham cracker now, like so. And you want to just place it in here. Ooh, there's a little fire now. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> and then right here, you push the white. Ooh. Then you take it out like so. <laughs> And then you grab a piece of your graham cracker and put it on top. And you got some s'mores. 
All right, DIY s'mores, miniature s'mores. I decided I'm gonna make one more s'more here. Oh yeah, look at that. Okay, America, that looks pretty cool with the little fires and stuff. I'm gonna put on another granola bar like so. Okay, sorry, that's a graham cracker. But we're gonna go ahead and plate it right here. Yes, just gently pick it up. This is very key. Uh, uh, okay, there we go. And now we're adding some gold flakes to it. I know, I know. I'm making the world's most expensive and miniature s'mores look at this gold flakes oh my goodness it's actually really cool the gold flake like adheres to it i mean it does that to a lot of things but just look at this watch just watch i take the gold flake next to it like this i don't do anything <laughs> it just sucks on like that whoa whoa it just oh look at this s'more that s'more just looks so much more appetizing now All right guys, so we have a free s'more right here versus a hundred dollar s'more because that's a golden flake. I mean, this whole thing costs a hundred dollars. So, I mean, okay, maybe technically this is like a $15 s'more, but still that's a lot for a s'more. So let's just try this free s'more. Okay, it's not bad. I'm just not gonna lie to you, that was just not good at all. I don't like it. The Japanese popping cooking, so much better than this fake American popping cooking with the very disappointing size flame thing. Let's try the $100 one. That is so much better! Gold makes everything better! Just kidding, that tastes really gross. I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it at all. They both taste nasty. Don't get this. American popping cooking, not as good as Japanese popping cooking. Pop Japanese popping cooking actually tastes like what it's gonna taste like, kind of, most of the time. It does not taste good at all. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> If you guys enjoyed this video, I will. I guess I could try some more of these American poppin' cookies if you guys want to see some more of these. But get this video to 20,000 likes. I love you forever, you Marmars. And thank you guys so much again for my million subscribers. And I'll see you guys tomorrow at 12 p.m. for another new video. Peace!